Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. So today sees the re-release of the McGear album from 1974. So this is the album by Mike McGear or Mike McCartney to give him his proper name, Brother of Paul. And in many ways it's, it's a Lost Wings album because the whole of Wings as it was at the time, appears on this album. So the, the main instrument, instrumentation was done by Paul, Linda, Denny Lane. It was Jimmy McCulloch's first project with Paul before he went on to make actual Wings records. And you've even got Denny Sywell, who'd left Wings by this point, but he appears on one of the songs as the drummer. Um, so they do the, the main instrumentation and the album's produced by Paul. He's also on backing vocals as well throughout the album. So it, yeah, it really is like a Lost Wings album. And I'm going to admit, I've never heard this album. I've never heard a single song from it. So I'm really excited to get this uh, reissue today and have a real good listen to it. Now I'm going to be getting the two CD and one DVD edition. I'm going to be opening it up in a moment but it hasn't actually arrived yet. But as soon as it arrives on this video, so don't go anywhere, I will be unboxing it and showing you exactly what you get. Also stick around for the end of this video because I'm gonna tell you a little bit of information about a, um, a bit of a hidden treasure, very little known um, John Lennon memorial that I visited this week. I've been away on holiday, I've just come back um, and I'm gonna tell you about that. So if you stick around for the end of the video, but now just waiting for the postman to arrive and I'll get this opened up. Okay, so here it is. Let's get this open and see what's inside and we'll show you everything that's in here. This seems to be new Amazon style packaging in the last week or so. It's two lots of things I've had in this. Not seen this before, but here we go. This is it. McGear. So it's got the wrapper on at the moment. I'll take this off in a second so that you can get a better look without it being too shiny. But let's have a look at the label first. Okay, Mike McGear, an official newly remastered three disc definitive issue, issue of this classic album produced by Paul McCartney with songs by Mike and Paul McCartney featuring Wings, Pete Wingfield, he's the piano player. Uh, I believe he played piano on Run, Run Devil Run album. Jerry Conway was drummer, Paddy Maloney of the Chieftains and Viv Stanshaw from the Bonzo Dog Band, that's good to see. Uh, includes the original an album, two single bonus tracks, entire bonus CD of alternate takes, unreleased archive tracks and singles. Also features a DVD of new interviews with Mike McGear uh, and the original Leave It promotional film from 1974. Box includes a highly illustrated booklet with an essay, an exclusive interview with Mike McCartney and many previously unseen photos plus two posters. Brilliant. Well, there's a lot in there. Um, let's get the wrapper off and we'll show you exactly what's in it. I understand that those interviews are from um, oh, while he was in Liverpool in 1974. It's a couple of different interviews. It might, might tell us a bit more on the box, but I believe that to be the case. So we'll save that sticker for later. Right, proper look at the box now that it's not going to be so shiny. That, I believe, is the original album cover. There, no extras on that. Um, at the side it says... McGear, Mike McGear, says exactly the same on that side uh, and on the top and on there you've just got some uh, barcode and serial number information. So look at this then, this looks good. So this is a lid that comes off. In fact it doesn't come off completely, it's like on a, on a hinge. Okay so we'll look at the contents in a second but let's have a look at the back cover first of all. So you've got McGee produced by Paul McCartney. So disc one there, as you can see, is the remastered album plus two bonus tracks. Then you've got disc two, which is outtakes and oddities or odd ditties, as it says there. Um, and it gives you a bit of information about what kind of mixes they are without orchestra, etc. So there's quite a lot there. And then you've got the DVD disc three, which is a region zero. I think that means that will play on any DVD player, I think, Region Zero. So it's Mike McCartney reminisces at the Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts. Mike McCartney interview at the Everyman Theatre Liverpool um, and Leave It Promotional Video 74. I believe that those two Liverpool interviews are both from 1974 as well. I don't, they're not new interviews. So let's have a look at what you get inside here. I'm going to take some photographs of all this as well to put um, sort of towards the back end of the video so you probably get sort of higher 
higher quality images of, of what's in here. So this is the booklet, first of all, just the album cover there. And on the back, it's just like an extended version of the picture. And this is, let's see what's in here. Uh, Magia. Photographs. Track listings that we've already seen um, on the outside. And then it just looks like there's a lot of information there about the making of the album, information about the album, pictures. Um, typical, that's a very 1970s picture, is that, isn't it? Uh, oh, that's, that looks like that's uh, Mike with Viv Stanchel there, by the looks of it. Back to that 1970s picture. So there's all sorts of information in here. This is uh, this looks like a really good read for somebody like me who doesn't really know much about this album. That is going to be good. So how many pages have we got? It's 27. It's about 30 pages altogether. We've got some uh, information there for anybody who wants to have a look at the sort of credits for the album, who's remastered it and all that. Pause that and have a look. Okay. So that's that's a good booklet. I like the look of that. What else have we got in here? Come on. So this is this must be the poster i think i better move my chair back so you can get a good view of this oh it opens up to sort of just a bit bigger than a4 size so there you go and on the other side oh it's a scene of liverpool i don't know if you could quite get that if i just come up a bit closer picture of liverpool there so that's your poster. I'll put that back in properly in a bit. We've got, what's this? This is lyrics. This is a lyric sheet here. Ah, interesting. So lyrics on one side. And then on the other side, you've got handwritten versions of the, like the, the original lyric notes. So that's good. That'd be nice to have a look uh, through. What else have we got in here? This looks like the discs itself. So this opens up again. It's just the front cover and that same picture that was in the poster, but with the track listing. So we've got in one side, no disc at all, worrying. Hopefully that's uh, intended. We've got, that's the, that's the disc there for the album. If you can see that, so hopefully, I hope the DVD is going to be in another part of the box. What else have we got? Yeah, here we go. So different pictures here. Another picture of Mike there. And on the back of that, ah, Mike with uh, some chap you might recognise. His older brother. This opens up into a gatefold. So we've got oh, another very 1970s picture there. Outtakes and oddities. Oh, this, this is disc two. This is the second CD. So let's have a look at that. Get you a look at that. Very nice. And hopefully we've got the, is it the last thing? Yeah, the last thing. That box is now empty. Another picture of Mike. And a picture of Mike as he is these days, looking very distinguished there. And again, this is a gatefold. So we've got a picture of Mike, information about the DVD, what's on it, and that disc should be in here. Yeah, there we go. Same style as the CDs. Okay. So that's great. Looking forward to um, having a real good playlist and getting to know this album. Um, it's not every day you get to discover a brand new 1970s um, album featuring heavily Paul McCartney. So that's going to be a bonus. So that's the McGear album. I did say I was going to quickly talk about uh, somewhere that I've been this week. So this week I've been up in Scotland driving around right up to the top. And you may or may not know, um, there's a small place called Durness, which is right up in the northwest corner of Scotland, right up in that top corner. And there's a John Lennon memorial there. 
and that's because that's um, it's somewhere that he used to go as a child every year for his summer holidays for several years in a row he went up there he had family up there and he'd stay there in the summer and um, now what you've got is in, in the town there where they've now built the village hall which looked like a quite a new building there's a sign saying Durness Village Hall and underneath it says John Lennon Memorial and when you go in what there is there um, it mentions about the fact that the song In My Life with the obviously the lyric there are places I'll remember all my life um, it's been suggested that one of the places that John was talking about in that song was Durness from the memories that he had there as a child so you've got these um, you've got these sort of big stone tablets in the ground that have got lyrics from In My Life uh, engraved on them and it's just a nice little garden where you can go and sit um, so it's it's not as grand as strawberry fields in Central Park in New York um, or some of the things that you find in Liverpool but it's just a, a nice little garden to visit just a, a reminder of uh, this, this is a place that was very dear to John's heart so if you're ever up in that top corner of Scotland and my goodness it takes a long time to get up there but it is so worth it um, check out Durness right in the top northwest corner and look for the village hall and it's worth paying a visit to the John Lennon Memorial there okay right I'm gonna go and listen to McGay now I'm gonna look forward to that so thank you very much for watching and uh, I will see you again sometime goodbye <laughs>